Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. God bless you. Welcome to The Good Book Project. I hope everyone woke up well, in good spirits, and in health. Here at this channel in our Chronological Bible in a Year video podcast, to the glory of God, we have reached day 125. Yesterday for day 124, we went back into the book of First Chronicles to get a history of King David and the people of Israel. Now trying to move the Ark of the Covenant, they are at war with the Philistines, which they end up defeating the Philistines. There is then a plan to move the Ark of the Covenant because, because the presence of the Lord was in the Ark. One man touched the Ark accidentally and it burnt the Lord's anger and he died because that was a holy Ark, the Ark of the Covenant. So then they have to make a plan and David has to gather a lot of men and the Levites who were the people set by God to be the only ones to move around it. So they bring a plan to bring it around and a tent is made in Jerusalem so that the Ark of the Covenant can be there. After it is placed there, there is worship from everyone in Israel, led by people appointed by King David, one of them being Asaph, who we have read some Psalms from before. And we read a Psalm in the book of First Chronicles 16 of worship to the Lord, and everyone is worshiping at their appointed time that King David had set for the children of Israel. For today, day 125, we read more Psalms of David and some Psalms of the children of Israel about how they are feeling at this time. I will pray us into those Psalms, and we will get right into it. Father God, we just come before you today with thanks and with praise. Thank you for bringing us to the end of the work week, Father God. Thank you that you keep us healthy and you sustain us, that we're able to go through your word each and every single day. We praise you when we honor you for that. Lord, I pray for these psalms and that you use them to bless us and to open our eyes. Give us understanding and give us wisdom so we can know how to worship you more, how to think about you in a new light. And we ask for all these things in the name of Jesus. We all say, Amen. For day 125, we go back into the psalms beginning with Psalm 1. And we're going to do this in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Word of God reads, The Psalms, Book 1, Psalm 1. Blessed is the man who doesn't walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand on the path of the sinners nor sit in the seat of the scoffers. But his delight is in the Lord's law. On his law he meditates day and night. He will be like a tree planted by the streams of water that produces its fruit in its season, whose leaf also does not wither. Whatever he does shall prosper. The wicked are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore the wicked shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall perish. Psalm 2 Why do the nations rage, and the peoples plot a vain thing? The kings of the earth take a stand. And the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let's break their bond apart and cast their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens will laugh. The Lord will have them in derision. Then he will speak to them in his anger and terrify them in his wrath. Yet I have set my king on my holy hill of Zion. I will tell of the decree. The Lord said to me, You are my son. Today I have become your father. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance, the uttermost parts of the earth for your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron. You shall dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Now therefore be wise, you kings. Be instructed. You judges of earth, of the earth, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Give sincere homage to the Son, lest he be angry 
and you perish on the way. For his wrath will soon be kindled. Blessed are those who take refuge. Blessed are all those who take refuge in him. Psalm 15, a psalm by David. Lord, who shall dwell in your sanctuary? Who shall live on your holy hill? He who walks blamelessly and does what is right, and speaks truth in his heart. He who doesn't slander with his tongue, nor does evil to his friend, nor casts slurs against his fellow man, in whose eyes a vile man is despised, but, he, but who honors those who fear the Lord. He who keeps an oath even when it hurts and doesn't change. He who doesn't lend out his money for usury, nor take a bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be shaken. Psalm 22 For the chief musician, set to the doe of the morning, a psalm by David. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me? and from the words of my groaning. My God, I cry in the daytime, but you don't answer. In the night season, and am not silent. But you are holy, you who inhabit the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in you. They trusted, and you delivered them. They cried to you, and were delivered. They trusted in you, and were not disappointed. But I am a worm, and no man, a reproach of men, and despised by the people. All those who see me mock me. They insult me with their lips. They shake their heads, saying, He trusts in the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him, since he delights in him. But you brought me out of the womb. You made me trust while at my mother's breasts. I was thrown on you from my mother's womb. You are my God since my mother bore me. Don't be far from me, for trouble is near. For there is no one to help. Many bulls have surrounded me. Strong bulls of Bashan have encircled me. They open their mouths wide against me. Lions tearing, prey and roaring. I am poured out like water. All my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted within me. My strength is dried up like a potsherd. My tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. You have brought me into the dust of death. For dogs have surrounded me. A company of evildoers have en enclosed me. They have pierced my hands and feet. I can count all of my bones. They look and stare at me. They divide my garments amongst them. They cast lots for my clothing. But don't be far off, Lord. You are my help. Hurry to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword, my precious life from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth. Yes, you have rescued me from the horns of the wild oxen. I will declare your name to my brothers. Amongst the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him, all you descendants of Jacob. Glorify him. Stand in awe of him, all you descendants of Israel. For he has not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted. Neither has he hidden his face from me. But when he cried to him, he heard. My praise of you comes in the great assembly. I will pay my vows before those who fear him. The humble shall eat and be satisfied. They shall praise the Lord who seek after him. Let your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. All the relatives of the nations shall worship before you, for the kingdom is the Lord's. He is the ruler over the nations. All the rich ones of the earth shall eat and worship. 
all those who go down to the dust shall bow before him, even he who can't keep his soul alive. Posterity shall serve him, future generations shall be told about the Lord. They shall come and shall declare his righteousness to a people that shall be born, for he has done it. Psalm 23, a psalm by David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and loving kindness shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the Lord's house forever. Psalm 24, a psalm by David. The earth is the Lord's, with its fullness, the world, and those who dwell in it. For he has founded it on the seas, and established it on the floods. Who may ascend to the Lord's hill? Who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to falsehood, and has not sworn deceitfully, he shall receive a blessing from the Lord, righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, even Jacob. Salah. Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory will come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates. Yes, lift them up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory will come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of armies is the King of glory. Salah. Psalm 47, for the chief musician. A psalm by the sons of Korah. O clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with the voice of triumph, for the Lord Most High is awesome. He is a great king over all the earth. He subdues nations under us and peoples under our feet. He chooses our inheritance for us, the glory of Jacob, whom he loved. Salah. God has gone up with a shout the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises with understanding. God reigns over the nations. God sits on His holy throne. The princes of the peoples are gathered together. The people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is greatly exalted. Psalm 68 For the chief musician, a psalm by David, a song. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered, let them who hate him also flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away, as wax melts before the fire. So let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yes, let them rejoice with gladness. Sing to God. Sing praises to His name. Exalt Him who rides on the clouds. To the Lord, His name. Rejoice before Him. A father of the fatherless and a defender of the widows is God in His holy habitation. God sets the lonely in families. He brings out the prisoners with singing. 
but the rebellious dwell in a sun-scorched land. God, when you went out before your people, when you marched through the wilderness. Salah. The earth trembled. The sky also poured down rain at the presence of the God of Sinai, at the presence of God, the God of Israel. You, God, sent a plentiful rain. You confirmed your inheritance when it was weary. Your congregation lived therein. You, God, prepared your goodness for the poor. The Lord announced the word. The ones who proclaim it are a great company. King of armies, flee. They flee. She who waits at home divides the plunder, while you sleep amongst the campfires. The wings of a dove sheathed with silver, her feathers like shining gold. When the Almighty scattered kings in her, it snowed on Zalman. The mountains of Bashan are majestic mountains. The mountains of Bashan are rugged. Why do you look in envy, you rugged mountains, at the mountain where God chooses to reign? Yes, the Lord will dwell there forever. The chariots of God are tens of thousands and thousands of thousands. The Lord is amongst them, from Sinai into the sanctuary. You have ascended on high. You have led away captives. You have received gifts amongst the people. Yes, amongst the rebellious also that the Lord God might dwell there. Blessed be the Lord, who daily bears our burdens, even the God, who is our salvation. Salah God is to us a God of deliverance. To the Lord, the Lord belongs escape from death, but God will strike through the head of his enemies. The hairy scalp of such a one as still continues in his guiltiness. The Lord says, I will bring you again from Bashan. I will bring you again from the depths of the sea, that you may crush them, dipping your foot in blood, that the tongues of your dogs may have their portion from your enemies. They have seen your processions, Lord God. They have seen your processions, God, even the processions of my God, my King, into the sanctuary. The singers went before. The minstrels followed after, amongst the ladies playing with tambourines. Bless God in the congregations, even the Lord in the assembly of Israel. There is little Benjamin, their ruler, the princes of Judah, their council, the princes of Zebulun, and the princes of Naphtali. Your God has commanded your strength. Strengthen, God, that which you have done for us. Because of your temple at Jerusalem, kings shall bring presents to you. Rebuke the wild animal of the reeds, the multitude of the bulls with the calves of the peoples. Trample underfoot the bars of silver. Scatter the nations who delight in war. Princes shall come out of Egypt. Ethiopia shall hurry to stretch out her hands to God. Sing to God, you kingdoms of the earth. Sing praises to the Lord. Salah. To, to him who rides on the heaven of heavens, who are of old, behold, he utters his voice, a mighty voice. Ascribe strength to God. His excellency is over Israel. His strength is in the skies. You are awesome, God, in your sanctuaries. The God of Israel gives strength and power to his people. Praise be to God. Thank you, God, for your holy and precious word. Wow, some of my favorite psalms were read today. All of these psalms are just beautifully written. We see the heart of David and the heart of Israel at this time, praising the Lord and comparing the wicked with the righteous. And we have God's city, Mount you know, Zion being mentioned in many of the different Psalms we read about who can be a citizen of God's city and what God's city is like. And it's majestic. And because God, God is there, we see in through all throughout the Psalms, just praise and worship to the Lord 
for his excellency and his deliverance and his guidance over him. And they're constantly calling out to him in these Psalms. My favorite Psalm is Psalm 23, meaning for all of it, the Lord is your shepherd, my shepherd, our shepherd. And because the Lord is our shepherd, we shall lack nothing. It doesn't say, I don't want anything. It says, I shall lack nothing, meaning there's nothing in the world we need but the Lord. He makes you lie down. So he guides your steps. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still water. He restores my soul. All throughout these Psalms, we see the heart of David and his continuousness to be the man after God's own heart. And I pray for us that we could be just like him, that we could seek after the Lord constantly above all things. And we could always use these Psalms to do it. Psalm 23 being my favorite. We also read Psalm 22. And the reason why I want to bring it up is because way later into our podcast, Lord willing, you're going to hear some words that sound exactly like some Psalms and some, some of the verses in Psalm 22 that we will read later. Them being, they surrounded me like bulls. They cast lots for my garments. They pulled my, bo my bones out of joint. They have pierced my hands and feet. And then for Psalm 22, verse 1, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? That sounds awfully familiar to someone who knows the story. And we know who this is also attributed to. And we will read about it in the, in the New Testament when the time comes. And when that happens, I will show back into Psalm 22 what was being recited there. And with that, we are done with our readings for today. Day 125 is complete, and I'm so happy you were able to make it out today to be with us all together so we could read some of my favorite psalms, 22 and 23. I will pray us out of these psalms for today, and we will go throughout the rest of our day. Father God, above all, we just want to give you thanks and praise because you woke us up this morning with a breath of life. Thank you that we were able to go through all of these psalms that all praise you, that all magnify your name, that worship you, and gives us direction on how you want us to live. Let us not be like the wicked. Let us be like the righteous, so that we could be the ones who dwell with you. Lord, we ask, just like David said in Psalm 23, that we can constantly dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Continue to guide us, Lord, like Psalm 23 says. Guide us and move us where you need us to go, Father God. We put all of our trust in you. We don't need anything else but you, Father God. Thank you that you have used these psalms to bless us. And with that, we ask that they constantly remain on our mind today and for the rest of our life. Because these psalms are nothing but a blessing to you. And it blesses us by it, Father God. Lord, I pray for the rest of today that we live inside of your perfect hand, covered by your protective hand, living inside of your perfect will for our lives, Father God. Fill us with the Holy Spirit and help us show the love and mercy of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to a world that so desperately needs it, Father God. We ask for all these things, praising you once again, exalting your holy name, the name above all names, we pray out in the name of Jesus, we all say, Amen. In the description of this video, I'm going to include two songs from a musical of the life of David from Sight and Sound Productions that I saw last year for Psalm 22 and 23. So I hope it blesses you because you get to hear a musical version of these psalms. And with that, tomorrow is day 126, and I sincerely hope you return for it so we can be blessed more and more by the word of God. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance toward you and give you peace. <laughs>